Hi guys, this is Fernando doing another video for more survivalists, sharing with you guys a little bit of a little tip of mine that I'm I'm only now comfortable sharing with <laughs> with you, like open in the public. Um, the thing is, um, there's things that I have done in the past that I'm not that comfortable sharing, especially things that are regarding security and such. Uh, back when I lived in Argentina, I mean, it would have made very little sense to do all these things to be safer, to keep my family safer, and then uh, go out and blow it all by posting a, a YouTube video about it. It's the kind of thing that you just don't do. So uh, please have a little bit of patience. Patience as time goes by and I feel more comfortable sharing these things. I will do that. So so bear with me. This belt is my rigorous belt by SOE Special Operations Equipment by John Willis. I, I asked, I had sent an email to John Willis about uh, shipments uh, to Argentina. He apparently knew who I was, about my book, about my blog, and he just sent it to me. He didn't ask for, for any money. Um, he just sent it, sent it to me right away. That's the kind of thing that uh, it's, it's very, you know, very humbling to see someone that uh, would do that for you. It's, uh, I'm, I'm going to be forever grateful to him because of that gesture of his. So, and besides, it's great stuff, and you know, that's why I was inquiring, because I, I liked it a lot. This is the one that has the, the Cobra uh, belt buckle. Very neat, <laughs> as you see. It's very strong, so you're not losing anything in terms of, of strength and integrity because of that, and it's uh, more practical for, for getting the belts on and off. Generally, you would have the rigor belts, would have like all the Velcro stuff, and when you ever have to get it off, you can go to the toilet or just get dressed or whatever, it's more, uh, it takes a little bit more of time. So that makes it much more comfortable. And you still have the, the attachment for uh, emergency rappling or, or being rescued and, and that sort of thing. And besides the, how st strong the belt itself is, it's very nice for, for having with your, with your firearm. Also for just that the cell phone gets, uh, goes in there nicely. And as you probably see already, there's a little bit of, of tape here. And this is a little <laughs> secret that I didn't feel comfortable sharing until, until I'm, I was out of, of Argentina. This is just a little bit of Gorilla Tape. And here inside, underneath it, it's a handcuff key and a little blade for cutting. That's basically my idea in case uh, of getting kidnapped. Now, it sounds kind of paranoid and such, and you know, anyone watching this from, from a, a place that isn't nearly as dangerous as, Ar as Argentina may be thinking, you're, you're a complete whack job, completely insane. Now, I was reminded about uh, this and doing this particular video because today I read on the news that um, someone had been kidnapped in, in the part of Buenos Aires where I come from. Uh, he was... I didn't read completely now the the article. Apparently, he it's a he's a guy that got kidnapped, and uh, when the police uh, were trying to rescue him in, in some sort of shootout, he he died. So basically, that's the kind of thing that happens uh, where I come from. All right. So no, I'm not that crazy. And yeah, when when people do get kidnapped on on somewhat regular basis, this is the kind of thing that you end up thinking about. All right. So. You know, maybe you are in a safe part of the world and all this makes no sense to you. Maybe your safe part of the world is slowly getting more dangerous. Maybe there's already quite a bit of kidnappings wherever you are. I don't know who you are and where you are from and where you live. But if, if that sort of problem is, is growing and becoming uh, more common, this may be something you want to be thinking about. I know people that escaped kidnappers that <laughs> managed to escape because of a moment of doubt. I know guys that managed to crash their vehicles against uh, uh, carjackers that uh, apparently wanted to, to take them in. Uh, guys that jumped out of the moving vehicle. So again, if, if uh, you're in a place where these kind of things do happen often, it does make, it does make quite a bit of sense. You know, you do whatever you can. And this is just one of those little things that just may come in very, very handy and may end up saving your life if it ever happens. And if not, it's really not bothering you at all. It's, you know, you don't notice it's there at all. It's just very small handcuff key and a little piece of blade for cutting in case you get your hands tied behind your back. And of course, excellent SOE rigor spelt by, by John Wallace. If, if you like this sort of thing, this would be like the, 
you know, top of the line kind of, of riggers built. Folks, that's all for now. I hope you're enjoying these little videos of mine. Uh, bear with me, have a little bit of patience, uh, have a great day, and see you in our next video. Take care.